am so excited today to finally share with you my updated entryway area. I have been talking about this space for quite some time and wanted to change it up and just update it quite a bit. So this video is in collaboration with Moji over at Moji Style. She has an amazing channel. I absolutely love her. So we were both in the process of updating our entryways and decided to do a collaboration on it. So I want you guys to head over to her channel after you watch my entryway video and watch hers as well. Also, she does amazing, amazing DIYs. She has beautiful home with beautiful glam decor. So if you're interested in all of that, go over there and show her some love and subscribe to her channel as well. It is Moji Style. She even has a theme song, Moji Style. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get into why I wanted to update this space. So the main thing I wanted to do was change the color from this tan beige color that I had it painted um, basically when I moved into my home. So whenever I redo a space, the first thing I like to do is change the color to more of a grayish. It's not a true gray or beige, um, it's an in-between color. So I repainted this area Revere Pewter by Benjamin Moore and I absolutely love the color that it is. It is the perfect grayish. I also wanted to update my gallery wall by adding some um, mirrored pictures as opposed to the ones that I already had. So I went on a hunt for those. So if you're interested in seeing how I transformed this space, the DIY that I had to do to get the look that I want as well as the new decor that I've added, just stay tuned to the remainder of this video. So some of you may remember that I hauled some frames that I had purchased from Hobby Lobby that were not originally picture frames but it was a canvas inside of a mirror frame and I said that I was going to DIY it so that I could put my 11 by 14 photos in that mirror frame. So the first thing that I did was turn the frame over. I took a box cutter or razor and went right along the side to cut the paper on all three sides leaving the other side as is so that I could flap it back over once I was done. And then I took a pair of pliers and pulled the staples out of this foam board because this canvas inside of here is actually a foam board. And once I got all of the staples out, I just removed the canvas from the frame. So the first frame was a learning experience because what I initially did was took a razor and carved the canvas outside of the mat thinking that my photo was going to fit inside of their mat which was completely wrong So I went to Michaels and purchased some mats. Now these are 16 by 20 frame mats, but they are matted to an 11 by 14 and they fit perfectly in this frame. So all I did was place my mat upside down in the frame and then I took the photo that I have of my daughter and I and turned it upside down, taped it to the mat. And then I took the foam board that I had originally removed and placed it back behind my new mat. Now the reason why you're going to want to do this is because you're going to want it to be solid and firm in the back and if you have a gap it's going to make your photo buckle. So it's very important to place the foam board back on the back side of the mat. And then take the brown craft paper that you originally cut and flap it back over. And then I'm just going to take some tape and tape all around the sides of it and I am completely done transitioning these pictures into a beautiful mirror picture frame for my gallery wall. So once I was finished with my DIY, this is what the frame looked like and I absolutely love, love, love it. It is so perfect. I love how big it is and I mean you just could not beat this price. As I told you guys before, half off of 50 was $25 for these large 16 by 20 mirror frames. 
So if you want to do this to your gallery wall, it was actually super simple to do, a little time consuming because I had to do four of them, but they turned out absolutely beautiful. So now that I have my frames ready to go, we can get started transforming this space. So the first thing I did was repainted the color to Revere Pewter by Benjamin Moore. It is a Sherwin-Williams paint, so that is where I purchased it from. But let me tell you something, I completely got my life with this edger. Now I may be late to the party, but this thing was such a time saver and I am totally in love with it. I've always had to use tape and this time I just went right along the edges with this edger first and then I went back and filled in the middle and I love this color. It's like the perfect grayish color. So everything that I'm going to be placing on my entryway console table, I did haul in my home decor haul video with the exception of a few of these books that I purchased from the Goodwill. And when I was at the Goodwill, I was looking for books that once I took the cover off of them, they were going to give me a natural hue because this is a very monochromatic space. It's very neutral. So to top those books off, I wanted to add another book. So I purchased Homebody by Joanna Gaines. And I think that this is like the perfect book to have in your home on a coffee table or a console table. Really good book. And you guys know that my style in this area is very rustic glam, farmhouse glam. I love mixing the woods with the metal in the mirror those three tones together i just love it in this area in Target I found the cutest little rabbit it's this cute little mercury champagne metal rabbit I thought it would go perfect in my smaller cloche on this table So this is what my new entryway area looks like. I love the way that it turned out. I am in love with these frames. They are so beautiful and the way they just glam up this space. The way that it is now, I feel like I don't need to change it up. Even seasonally, I can add just a few things that might represent the season, but for the most part, I will be leaving it like this. I love it.
So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you love my entryway area just as much as I do. I am in absolute love with my gallery wall. I love those frames and the way they just completely make the space pop and just add that glam factor to my rustic elements that I have going on in that space. So I will see you guys in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching. Again, head over to Moji Style channel to watch her entryway update as well. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye daisies.